What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I'm going to be comparing the new update OS X El Capitan for Max to OS X Yosemite. It was just released today, and I know a lot of people are excited to update. There's a lot of nice new features, but should you update? In this video, I'm going to be comparing the speed with a Geekbench startup and a application launch test. So I want to see if indeed the performance did improve because Apple claims the new Metal API improves the performance so much, especially on newer devices, and I just want to put that to the test with this video. Now, of course, it's a given. Don't update if this is your workspace computer. No matter how good it seems on paper, whenever you install it, you're likely to encounter bugs and issues that other people haven't. And just to give you guys some info, this is my personal MacBook Pro, and I've actually got the fully spec version, 2.8 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, Intel Iris Pro. It's got the separate Radeon R9 graphics card. It's an incredibly powerful computer, but did El Capitan make it worse or better as promised? So let's go ahead and run those tests. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this on Yosemite first. Then I'm gonna do a clean install of El Capitan and see if the scores improved whatsoever. First off, let's do that startup test. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down for now. All right, so I've got my timer here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power button and start on my timer at the same time. Three, two, one. So it's really nice to have a fast booting computer. I gotta tell you, Mac versus Windows, no comparison. But anyways, in a moment here, should be fully up and running. Cool, so just about 14 seconds to boot up OS X Yosemite. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run that Geekbench and we're gonna launch an application and see how these all compare with the El Capitan update. So here's Geekbench, the full version from the App Store. Last year I used the browser one. As you can see here are my specs and I'm gonna run the 64-bit chip test. Anyways, here we go, run benchmarks. Man, my fan is going off like crazy. But we're just about finished and here are the results. So really good. I mean, the other time when I ran this test a year ago, I had a different MacBook, so I had a lot lower of a score, but dang, looking good. 14, 541 for the multi-core and 3886 for the single core. And one last test before I actually go ahead and reset my computer to El Capitan. I wanted to run the Lego Jurassic World game. It's pretty intensive. My computer heats up a lot while playing it. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this guy and see how long it takes to start. Just to give you another angle on the speed compared to El Capitan. So three, two, one. There we go. All right. So about 43 seconds, but let's see if this compares in any way to El Capitan. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a full reset, restore to OS X El Capitan, and we're gonna see how these scores compare. Hopefully they did increase like Apple promised. And here we are. So I've completed a full restore to the new OS X El Capitan. And just to give you a look, here it is. So 10.11 and on this new awesome version. So let's go ahead and do the same tests as the last time. I'm gonna go ahead and perform the startup and see where we're at. We're gonna hit start and power at the same time. So three, two, one. Hopefully there is an improvement here. Wow. So 15 seconds, unfortunately, that was actually a little bit slower than Yosemite. That was 14 seconds. So one second delay here, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time just to get a conclusive result. All right, so same deal, here we go. All right. Wow, so this time it was faster. Hmm, about half a second faster than Yosemite. Cool, so let's go ahead and do that Geekbench and see where we stand on the actual numbers. And here we go. So take a look at that. There is a considerable difference between Yosemite and El Capitan, and this isn't even getting into applications. I mean, this isn't even taking full advantage of metal, but already I can see for the multi-core score, there is a considerable difference as well as the single core score. So very impressive. And overall, I just gotta say, everything is so snappy. I absolutely love this OS. Although I'm not going to be installing it on my workstation just yet. I'm going to see how it goes, but seems pretty solid so far. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the same game and see how long it takes to start this guy up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see, this is what I mean by bugs, guys. The whole screen isn't showing on the bottom. Wow. <laughs> now it just moves up. So absolutely terrible. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't upgrade just yet because a lot of your old apps might not work and uh, I'd say it's about the same. 
I haven't really noticed a difference here. Okay, so I just quit this app and now stuck in this resolution. So like I said, guys, just be careful. Don't update just yet. I would wait until OS 10. 11.1 comes out that's already being worked on so you might experience bugs until then i mean i've never had that happen to me in yosemite and overall the numbers don't lie the startup is somewhat faster and the geek bench is considerably faster so it will be a worthy upgrade in just a little bit thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video have a great day enjoy os 10 el capitan if you decided to upgrade peace